The Russians are coming? What? 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 Hey, first of all, Derek. How you doing, Derek? Have you been reading your Bible, Derek, there in Tennessee? If you haven't, I want you to start reading again. Make sure you pray every night. Okay? Derek's eight years old. He's a good good kid. Praise God for him. I want to say hi to him. The Russians? Did you say the, Ru the, the, the Russians? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? The Russians? Yes. Matter of fact, they're coming to America next month in May. Excuse me, May 2012. Matter of fact, let me read this to you for you, okay? And Alex Jones has reported on this as well. Uh, Russian airborne troops are set to train how to target terrorists in America as part of a joint anti-terror drill with the United States. Again, here we go again. Everything that we do that feels bad in your gut is always under homeland security. It's always because it's your security. The NDAA bill, National Defense Authorization Act, which would allow troops to come into your house anytime that it's authorized by the President of the United States or one of his commanding generals or down the ranks. Soldiers can come into your house anytime, arrest you. They do not have to read you your Miranda rights. You will not get a phone call. You cannot collect $200 and pass and go. You cannot get due process. You can't call an attorney. You'll be held indefinitely in a military institution or prison, wherever they're choosing for interrogation, if you are considered a threat to national security. What? That's for your sake. That is for your benefit. Forget the Constitution. We're talking about your benefit here. Now we've got the TSA. They'll make a 90-year-old grandmother take her Depends diaper off in a wheelchair. That's for your benefit. The TSA will stick their hand down the front of the pants of your children while you're trying to get on the airplane for a family vacation. But don't worry about it. That's for your benefit. The Russians are coming to America to train with your troops somewhere in Colorado. Don't worry about it. It's for your benefit. Are you serious? Is this biblical prophecy? It is. It absolutely is. As the nations begin to come together to form a new world order, or call it a one world government, or just call it the beast, which is what John calls it as he receives the revelation knowledge from God in the book of Revelation. But let me read to you this article. The Russian airborne troops are sent are set to train how to target terrorists in America as part of a joint anti-terror drill with the United States, which will take place in Fort Carlson, Colorado, at the end of next month. That's May of 2012. Airborne troops from Russia and the United States will hold joint anti-terror drills in the United States state of Colorado. They're going to be doing the drills between May 24th and May 31st. That's real nice. Right during Memorial Day. Good time. Good time to be drill. Have these guys practicing with the Russians. Now this is being reported by Inzua News Agency. The link's below. And Russian Defense Ministry uh, Colonel Alexander Kuchenko, you got to have a Kuchenko uh, if you're in the Russian army. This story was also reported by the Russian news outlet RIA Novosky. It's in the link below. Now, the exercises, which will mark the first time the respective countries, two airborne forces. Did you just hear what I said? Let's just not say that passively. This exercise, which will mark the first time time that the respective countries two airborne forces have held joint drills on the united states territory we're allowing the russians in the camp 
It doesn't matter that the Russians are standing on the, the soil of Syria helping Assad systematically destroy his people. It doesn't matter what General George Patton said in World War II. Uh, what? And I'm not got nothing against the Russians, because actually I think there's a lot of wonderful Russian people. Matter of fact, I think there's, there's some tremendous, powerful Russian Christians. I even have spoken to some Russian pastors. And some would say, Paul, if you understand Machiavelli, if you understood the rules of war, the art of war, you would know that you hold your friends close and your enemies closer. So you should not be so upset. Calm down, relax, chill out. Eat, go easy, take another cup of coffee, relax. My, my problem is, do we, if we have to have the Russians to help us protect America for national security, then we're already sunk. See, we put the radical Islamic jihadist Muslims in here by the thousands. We've allowed the Chinese in here. We're going to let the Russians in here. But we push the Israelis out. We ain't got time to meet with Benjamin Netanyahu. We give him the stiff arm. We insult him. We say things that's absolutely derogatory toward him. We take a picture of ourselves on the phone, talk to him with our feet up in the air, knowing that that's a, that's a, that's a very, very, very bad sign. I mean, just all kinds of stuff like that. Anyway, I want you to know something. The Russian soldiers will also be given access to U.S. Special services, weapons, there at Fort Carlson. They're also going to be on the helicopters with us. They're going to be doing joint um, reconnaissance of imaginary terrorist camps and raids. Sure that's not a FEMA camp? <gasps> anyway, I want you just to uh, just relax. I'm going to put the links below. I want you to read it. I'm just saying, we're living in the days I believe the Bible talked about. Um, you know, Alex Jones is upset about this. He's real upset about this. Um, it, it, and he's not the only one. A lot of people are. Can't understand why, why we need to do this. How does this strengthen America? I don't understand how this strengthens America. We're not a globe. We're not supposed to be worried about making a global. We're supposed to be protecting our own. You know. If you are the leaders of the United States of America, your responsibility is to defend the Constitution and defend this nation. You don't defend this nation by just letting everybody just, just have access to everything. All right. I'm going to let you go. Derek, keep praying over there. You're just an eight-year-old kid, so don't get shook up by any of this kind of stuff. But, but the rest of us really need to focus and pray because you can see the microchip is being forced into people. Literally, they're in, up there in the Philippines. They're putting uh, microchips, radio frequency identification devices, in people. Forcing, testing it, checking the technology. We have enough. Now, the RFID microchip, it's in the Obamacare bill. And it's supposed to get implemented soon. In the next, what, within the next six months? No later than 2017, but supposed to be done by March 23rd, 2013. We, we're, we're, our Constitution constantly is being torn down by executive orders by the President of the United States or by bills passed by the House of Representatives and the Senate or, or shredded and rewritten by the Supreme Court. The Russians are here training with the Americans. The Chinese own half of two-thirds of America. We're in debt to our eyeballs. They're sticking microchips in people, testing them in the Philippines, and they're, uh, and, they're, and they're writing into the bills. It's all under your national health security, your national security. Your, your, it's all about what? Let me just do this. Are you saved? Forget this world. It's going down. The, it's, it's the, the Antichrist is going to rise soon. Soon. Are you saved? Let's get your soul right. Forget it. Get your soul right. Get born again. Give your life to Jesus Christ. FEMA camps are everywhere. Are you saved? Guillotines are everywhere. Are you saved? Send me a personal message right now. I want to be saved. I want to be saved.